Hello YouTube. Today we're making three cheese stuffed lasagna. This is a super easy recipe. We're going to start with a pound of ground beef. We're going to actually cook the ground beef until it is nice and brown. If you don't brown, brown ground beef, then you don't get as much flavor out of it. That's where your flavor comes out in your meat is when it browns. If you cook it till it's just done, then it's going to have more of a boiled taste, but you'll bring out more of the taste of the meat when you brown it. I'm going to go ahead and put my oven on 350 degrees and get it preheating. Uh, today I used fresh noodles, but you can actually use store-bought lasagna noodles. You'll just need to boil them before you add them in your lasagna casserole dish. I have made it before without boiling them. You just add a little bit extra water to your sauce. But this works better because it is a, a stuffed three cheese and we're stuffing the cheese in between the layers of lasagna noodles. Uh, it works better if your noodles are cooked or you're using fresh noodles. I actually made these fresh noodles a month back and put them in the freezer between uh, wax paper. We're going to use a cup of ricotta cheese for our stuffing, half cup of grated parmesan, half a cup mozzarella, two eggs, stir it up, add a little bit of our homemade Italian seasoning, adds lots of good flavor to the lasagna. After we get our meat done, uh, we're going to add a can of our homemade spaghetti sauce. Be sure you mix up your ricotta and cheeses together well. And I try to do this in a little bit in advance. I think the flavors kind of mellow together as it sits there, um, especially if you're using a dry seasoning like an Italian seasoning. We'll get this stirred up together and just set it aside. Just about got our meat browned. Relax just a little bit more. Get it good and brown. This is a 93.7 real lean ground beef. We did add some of our Italian seasoning to it. I would normally add onions and bell peppers, but when I put up my own uh, spaghetti sauce, it already has onions and bell peppers in it and garlic. So this is a 24 ounce can. I'm also going to add a 12 ounce can of petite diced tomatoes. I just think the fresh tomatoes out of the can give it more of a fresh lasagna taste. Also you need a little bit more moisture because you are using noodles and lasagna I added about maybe half a cup of water to rinse all the tomato juices out of the spaghetti <clears throat> jar. You don't want to waste any of it. You can see this is a pretty chunky uh, spaghetti sauce or meat sauce. I'm going to add more of our Italian seasoning. If anyone's interested in this recipe, just leave me a comment below and I'll be glad to share it with you. We'll let this simmer just a little bit. And while it simmers, we're going to get everything together to start putting our lasagna together. We're going to start with a layer of sauce on the bottom. Because you don't want your noodles to stick to the pan. And you do want to spray the pan. This is a glass uh, bread loaf pan is what it is, but it makes great lasagna. These are my fresh noodles. I'm going to lay them on top of the sauce. Make sure you have a complete layer of noodles, even if you have to cut them and piece them in. Make sure you've got a complete layer of noodles because on top of that, we're going to add a layer of the three cheese, ricotta, parm, and mozzarella with the egg that we mixed in together. We're going to use a pretty generous layer of this and just spread it out over the noodles. We're going to add another layer of noodles on top of this. This is why it's called stuffed three cheese lasagna because we're using the noodles to encase our cheese stuffing and it really has a great flavor. 
We're going to keep layering this, we'll put another layer of noodles, and we'll put another layer of sauce, and we'll keep layering it until we get to the top of our bread loaf pan. We'll end with sauce and the remaining cheese. We probably grated a cup of Parmesan, a cup of mozzarella, but we only used a half a cup of each, in with a cup of ricotta cheese and two eggs. The recipe and directions will be below in the comments. I'm going to add another layer of the cheese. Like I said, we're just going to keep layering this. I'm going to put a pretty generous layer of the cheese mixture. Make sure you spread it out evenly so that everybody that gets a slice will get an equal amount. Tell me this is going to be one of the best lasagnas you've ever eaten. Add another layer of our fresh noodles. My noodles look dark. It's because I used whole wheat. And uh, after you freeze them, they will darken a little bit. And I also used some um, flour that was uh, dark to also keep them from sticking. So I can get out basically what I needed out of the freezer. <clears throat> and we've added our layer of sauce. We're going to add another layer. This is going to be our last layer of the cheese. I'm taking my scissors and cutting the size of noodle that I need to go in for my sheets. I have a uh, noodle attachment that goes on my KitchenAid mixer, and I also have a standalone electric, uh, I call it um, pasta machine. It makes uh, sh sheets, and then you take that and make it into spaghetti, and it makes fettuccine. And I have an extruder that makes macaroni, makes seven different types of, of noodles. <clears throat> Okay, we've added our cheese. <coughs> Excuse me. We'll add another layer of our noodles. Then case our cheese. And we'll add a little bit more sauce. As you can see, I had enough to probably have made a larger dish. But this is all I wanted to make. I didn't want to have too much. And I'm going to add some mozzarella and a little bit of parmesan and had a little bit of the um, free cheese left and actually we'll spoon it down the center of the lasagna on the top we're going to bake it at 350 until it's done takes about 35 to 40, 45 minutes. If you were doing a big 9 by 13, it'd probably take closer to an hour. If it starts to brown too much and you don't think it's done, really everything is done and the noodles cook in a matter of minutes. So really all you need to do is heat it through and through. See how good it looks? This is the Pressure Prepper channel. If you haven't joined our channel, do so. Click on the little notifications bell so you get any notifications of any new videos coming out. This is the Pressure Prepper. I'm out.